Yesterday I posted the latest Top Gun Maverick trailer without any analysis because I wanted to get it to you guys as soon as possible. But now I want to do some analysis of what this new footage reveals in terms of the movie's plot, specifically the involvement of the F-14. So let's review the bidding as discussed in my previous episode, Deep Intel on Top Gun Maverick. Movie starts with Maverick as a test pilot. He does a low flyby in an SR-72, which gets him thrown out of the test community. He needs a home. The commander of U.S. Naval Air Forces Pacific, the air boss played by John Hamm, reluctantly accepts him as a Top Gun instructor. And in the latest trailer, as all of the Top Gun students are hanging out in the hard deck, which is the O Club in this movie, the Phoenix character says, we are all the best of the best, so who are we going to get to teach us? And I'm sure that's Maverick's cue to enter the scene. So each one of these trailers, including the most recent one, shows surface-to-air missiles being shot at these Super Hornets as they fly over these snow-capped mountains. Somebody gets hit, and based on what we're seeing, I'm going to guess that that somebody is Rooster. Rooster winds up ejecting, and he's on the ground. The other subplot going on here that we can surmise from the trailers is the character Rooster, played by the actor Miles Teller, is Goose's son. Remember, Goose was Maverick's Rio, who died in the flatspin incident in the first movie. There's a line in the trailer where Rooster says, My father trusted you. I'm not going to make that same mistake. So this looks like Maverick is in need of redemption. Now that Rooster's been shot down, I'm going to say that Maverick does a Thomas Hudner in the Korean War and ditches his airplane behind enemy lines. As we discussed in the Top Gun Maverick Deep Intel episode, there are photos from the set, maybe taken secretly, that show Tom Cruise running through the snow. There are also photos from the set that show Maverick and Rooster in a concrete hangar with an F-14 parked there. And this F-14 has insignia from some ill-defined country, which is very much on brand. Because remember, in the first Top Gun, the MiG-28s were not identified in terms of their nationality. So Maverick and Rooster launch in this F-14, which is very poetic. And what we know from the latest trailer is they have an engagement with an Su-57, which is a fifth-generation Russian fighter. But... Let's assume that this SU-57 is not from Russia, but from this same ill-defined hostile nation that they're fighting in this movie. So we see this merge here. The SU-57 has max angles on the Tomcat at the merge. So what we know from some of the SU-57 flight demos that we've seen is the SU-57 has a lot of nose authority courtesy of its vectored thrust technology. So it looks like advantage felon. But remember, this is Hollywood. And when you're dealing with a franchise like Top Gun, writers love plotline continuity. Maverick has his magic move. And that is, he's going to put on the brakes and the felon is going to fly on by. Fox 2, good kill Maverick, and he'll return home in glory. Redemption complete. Fade to black. Roll credits. So what do you think is going to happen? Add your theories to the comments, and we'll all know for sure on May 27th when the movie comes out. So let's have a little contest here. Whoever winds up being correct will be awarded the Punks Trilogy Bundle, the limited edition hardback versions of my first three novels. And if more than one person is correct, we'll have a lottery. So jump in there and let us know what you think happens based on what we've seen in the trailers. All right. That's going to do it for this episode. If you're a first-time viewer, please ring the bell and become a subscriber so you don't miss anything. Give me the likes and comment. Check the links below for merch, including where to get the Punks Trilogy, my first three novels about an F-14 squadron, now available for the first time ever as a Kindle. So go to Amazon.com and check that out. If you'd like to help support the channel, please consider using the Super Thanks, the heart icon below, or become a patron at Patreon.com slash WordCarol. And in the meantime, I look forward to talking to you again soon.